the vacuum pump is shipped in two boxes. Box one contains the pump assembly, motor and impeller, and box two contains the pump scroll assembly and accessories for mounting the vacuum pump. Check the boxes for any damage. Open box one and remove the packing inserts. Lift the vacuum pump by its frame and not the impeller. The impeller is balanced and using it as a lifting point can cause damage. Place pump on a level surface. Be careful when lifting the pump as it is heavy and bulky. Open box number two. Remove the items from the box. Locate the pump scroll and place it on the side. Locate the bag of bolts and washers. These will be used for assembling the two together. An arrow is affixed on the pump scroll to identify the rotation of the impeller. This will dictate the direction of the discharge. The discharge side must be on the bottom and either left or right side of the pump. After determining the correct discharge side for the application, attach the pump scroll to the pump frame as follows. Locate the four pieces of gasket material. There are two pieces of material for the inlet side and two pieces for the scroll side. Locate the 5 16 inch and 7 8 inch bolts, quantity of 16, with flat washers and insert one of them through the top hole of the pump frame. Join two pieces of gasket material and insert it on the open threads of the bolt. Place the pump scroll against the pump frame and loosely screw in the rest of the bolts. Using a wrench, tighten the bolts to approximately 132 inch pounds. Spin the impeller to make sure it moves freely. Locate the pump inlet and set it aside. Assemble the remaining gasket material and insert 5 16 inch by 7 8 inch bolt in the bottom of the scroll. Position the mounting notch to engage with the previously installed bolt. On the inlet assembly, identify the one inch hole and be sure to always have this located in the down position. This hole is for the installation and connection to the condensate line. EP100 and EP300 pumps do not have this option. Other methods will be required to properly handle condensation. Using a wrench, install the remaining seven bolts and tighten them to approximately 132 inch pounds. Again, spin the impeller to make sure it moves freely. Install the motor shaft seal between the motor and pump frame by opening the seal, wrapping it around the motor shaft, and securing it with the adhesive tape provided. This will eliminate vacuum loss and help minimize noise. Install the vacuum proving switch to either side of the pump frame and secure it with screws and lock nuts included. Remove the fitting on the top of the inlet assembly and install the brass barb fitting. Do not over tighten the fitting. Locate, measure, and cut silicone hose to the correct length, making sure that there are no kinks, and secure it between the vacuum proving switch and the barb fitting. No field assembly is required for the EP300 pump as it ships fully assembled. This concludes the vacuum pump assembly. If you require additional support, please contact your local Roberts Gordon representative or Roberts Gordon at 1-800-828-7450 or online at www.robertsgordon.com. Work must be performed by a qualified contractor.